Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a new unboxing video. This here is special in many, many ways. So as you can see here, we have um, pretty much one, uh, one of very few um, limited edition uh, anthology editions of uh, The Secret of the Monkey Island or the Monkey Island Anthology by uh, Limited Run, which you should be able to see right here. So, I uh, pre-ordered this here, uh, uh, I think almost, almost two years ago, uh, one and a half years. Um, this here was posted by Limited Run, they wanted to make a uh, yeah, faulty collection which contains all the Monkey Island games by Ron Gilbert and, um, uh, and of course Tim Schafer also worked on, on, the, on some of the games and uh, uh, David uh, I think David Fox, I can't, oh, uh, that it, it slips out of mind because it was a team of three people who wrote the story and all that and then they were, of course, Michael Lang that, that made the, the music and all that, but we'll get into that. So, also, this here has, of course, a number. This here is the, no, this here is box number 193. This here is a authentic, authenticity, a certificate of which number this here box I do not know how many prints they made but let's get right into it so this here is pretty big and we're not gonna damage it so the containment of this here box this here is of course PC I think you I don't think you could get this here actually on console but I might be mistaken on but this here the original games came out on PC pretty much or they came out on um, Monkey Island came out on Amiga PC, um, did it come out on Nintendo? I can't remember. I know Sack McCracken, or at least Maniac Mansion. So we have Monkey Island, Monkey Island 2, uh, Le Truck's Revenge, Escape from Monkey Island, The Curse of Monkey Island, and The Tales of Monkey Island. The Tales of Monkey Island is a Telltale style game. These here are more point and click. The uh, Curse of Monkey Island is, is that the 3D one? I can't remember, it's been a long time, but the two ones, the stable ones that I say is the creme de la creme of point and click games is of course The Secret and The Chuck's Revenge, which pretty much were things left off. This here was a good remake, or not a remake, a reboot of the game where it tried to add something to it. It was also voice acted. Uh, you could get the special editions of these two games here, or the anniversary editions. You get them on Steam, and the, per, the guy who played Guybrush, uh, the voice actor, actually voice acted on the two games here. And I think these here are of not the original games from PC because they they would be have to be run in emulation, a DOS box or something like that. But this here would probably be the the newest version that you get on Steam, which I already own. This here is not so much about getting the games. The, this here is more about here. And again, this here is, of course, the map of of the area. I can actually not remember because we. The, I think this here is the Caribbean Sea, and this here is the, not the original Caribbean Sea. Um, you need to understand one thing, and that is that. Um, you need to understand one thing, and that is, of course, that this here is fictional. Uh, Melee Island, all this here is, of course, fictional, but this here is the area we're here, we're here and this here is one of the uh, maps, too, that leads to some of the things. But anyways, um, that's pretty much it. We've been around everything, so let's open it up, and we're going to try and do it without hurting anybody or anything. And we're gonna see, oh, this here actually opens this way. So, we are greeted with, of course, a certificate of authenticity by, and this here is uh, actually uh, the original handwriting, or this here is the, the signature of Ron Gilbert. Because when I ordered this one here, uh, I got some updates from uh, Limited Games and actually they sent out, uh, because of COVID of course, 
and that's also one of the reasons why it's taken a long time, was they sent out these here uh, certificates for Ron to sign and then ship back to them so they can then package it or ship it over to the packaging uh, center uh, who was going to package it for them and then so on and so forth. So this here is Ron's original signature. Um, so we have that, which is really, really cool. It's taped in here, so it's not to get away. And then we, of course, have the game or a four disc version of the game here. So you do get the original discs, uh, CD-ROMs. Uh, I don't think this here will be, it, it could be it could be DVDs, but I don't think they're big, they, they, the games are big enough to be worth putting on CDs or DVDs, but who knows. Then we have the staple of it all, which is of course disc 22, which is a gag in the game because um, I can't remember which one of the games it is. Uh, actually, but at some point you are looking for a disc and the disc was didn't exist. So this here was, no, I think it was, um, I think it was because like, if I remember correctly, the original Monkey Island on Amiga was, or PC, I can't remember which one. I, I had it on Amiga, uh, the original one. I think it was 10 discs and I think the Chucks were ones for his 20, 21 or 20, and this here was a gag of it. I, can, I can't remember the details, so if you have to look it up. But this here is joke of it all. So this here is, for people who don't know what this here is, this here is a floppy disk, uh, what is called a three and a quarter one. It holds the sum of, um, okay, is it three and a quarter or is it three and a half? I think it's three and a half. Oh, never mind. This here holds the total sum back in the day of 1.44 megabytes of space. It low, you can see the, I actually don't know if there's anything on it. It would be cool to actually, I don't have a, this here is like, you can't get the, well you can, but I don't have a drive for this here. So yeah, so this here is cool, just not nostalgia. Then we of course have, um, is this here a thumb drive or is it could I'm guessing it's a thumb drive because some people might not have, of course, um, a Blu-ray or a DVD, a, like an a, a optical media drive. So I'm guessing this here is, oh, let's see, what is it? Yeah, I think. Or is it a, no, no, no. First of all, I can't see anything because it's actually pretty dark here. Yeah, it's a fun drive. There we go. It, it I just wanted to make sure that it, it, it wasn't like a rubber or some kind of like a, uh, for a pencil, um, but um, nope, it's a fun drive. So this here is of course, probably guessing this here is a DRM free version of everything. So you have a thumb drive, you have the disc, and of course you have, <laughs> this here is so big whoop from the Chuck's Revenge. So the idea here is you had to have a ticket. Big whoop is a theme park to get in. And this here is the ticket you get to get in. So the big whoop. Let's see what it says here. The Hall of Pirates, uh, her things, yeah. This here is, it's funny. It's pretty cool. So yeah, anyways, that's it. Um, so what else do we have here? I'm not gonna put, put this here, I wanna keep this here intact, so we're gonna do this. Um, let's see here. This here should probably be, yes. So this here will be the original poster, uh, of course not in, in real size, but this here was of course the original poster of, poster of uh, the first game, The Secret of the Monkey Island. I actually had the box for it, I remember. I actually don't own the box anymore. And of course we have the second one, The Chuck's Revenge, right here. We have the Curse of Monkey Island, which, oh, it's not the 3D. This here was the cartoon drawn again. So this here is a point and click again. I think the fourth one, which is the Tails, that's the 3D one. No, no, this here is, yeah, I, yes, this here should be the 3D. 
this here's the freebie one, the Escape from Monkey Island. And the fifth one is the Tails game. Yeah. And let's see what else do we have here. This here is. Let's see. Yep. Let's get this here out. Just gonna move this here to the side, and we're gonna take a look at this here. So first, we're gonna look at what we have here. That is just for protection, I'm guessing. Yep. So this here is. The Monkey Island uh, chronologues, pretty much. So I'm guessing this here is probably an art book. So we're gonna open that. If I have my trusty knife here, I'm gonna be really careful here. Yeah, I'm sorry about the lighting, guys, because this simply is late in the day and. The lighting is not really great here, in, but, and I don't have any lights to turn on right now, so it sucks pretty much, but we'll get through it. Anyways, so this here is embossed with probably some kind of wannabe gold. We're going to take a look at this here. Nice color here. Yeah, the Monkey Island behind the scenes. The 23rd anniversary retrospective book. So it's pretty much um, a documentary written by, there is David Grossman, that's the David, yeah. Ron, of course, um, Ben, and uh, yeah, so this, these here are probably interviews with them um, and I'm guessing they were written down. Ron had, uh, one of Ron's, uh, Ron and David uh, got back together and made uh, Thimbleweed Park, which I actually own and I also backed and I'm actually in that game. So if you have not played that, uh, I would definitely recommend uh, checking that out. Uh, we have some, uh, some stuff with Tim. This here's really, really cool. Uh, Chuck Dorden. And they talk about the puzzles. This here is, of course, spoiler. Yeah, it has all the art of... This, here's from <clears throat> this here is uh, the Swordmaster from The Secret of Monkey Island. And then they go into the second one. Oh yeah, I remember this here. And then Lucas or his life they talk about, which of course was on the Star Wars ranch, if I remember correctly. And then of course Escape from Monkey Island. And is that the freebie one? Let's see. Oh, it came out on PlayStation. Yeah, yeah, that's PlayStation 2, so that's, that is the freebie one. Yeah, it's the Tales, yeah. That was not a good game because the key, keyboard, mouse and keyboard were gone on it. So not the best one, but definitely worth picking up playing. It's still a fun game puzzle wise but anyways enough about that let's put that away and move that over here and oh finally light um let us look at this and something fell out oh funny 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 so back in the day we're just gonna take a look at this here first. Back in the day, um, to, there was DRM protection on, on games actually. So back in the day, what they did actually put in, they put this here uh, wheel in where you needed to match the, 
the faces and then from there you would get a code and this here is a double one so it works on multiple games so they re-added that that's cool that's cool anyways let us look at this here so this here is taped up pretty well we do not want to damage the certificate so we're gonna take that away and then we're gonna do this And then we're going to pick this out. So here we have the statue, which is Guybrush. Oh, this here is a heavy one. Wow. Uh, this here is, uh, this here is probably from, well, he has the beard, as you can see. So it's definitely not from the first one because he's too young. So this here would be from either LeChuck's Revenge or some of the later ones. We have, of course, the monkey head, the skull. Uh, uh, I can't remember, what's his name? The talking skull, Chuck or something. And we have, of course, some uh, pins and of course one of the most forgotten things here ask me about loom loom was a game that came after uh, I think came after or about the same time of, as monkey it was definitely developed at the same time it was released definitely it was not really um, it wasn't really it didn't have the success and the name recognition around that, but it was, it's definitely a title that, in my opinion, should... You, anybody who played uh, Point and Click games back in the day should know about Loom, and if you haven't played it, should check it out. It is on Steam, and I even have a playthrough on the channel here. And this here is, of course, a little, um, a little frame with, uh, which is where... Uh, a spoiler alert here, this here is from Monkey Island 1, the sequel of Monkey Island 1, where you, of course, get, um, tr uh, LeChuck tries to kill you and forgets that you are a guy brush free road and you can actually hold your brother or your, your breath underwater for 10 minutes and uh, you, uh, you, instead of drowning, which they... They try to drown her, so they throw you in with this here statue, but the thing is, you just go out and pick it up and then walk away uh, up to the ladder here. So this here is what it's representing. So yeah, really cool. Uh, I don't think this here is real wood. Um, if it is, it's definitely a light wood. Uh, I could be like wood embossed or something, but anyways, it doesn't really matter. It's cool, it's a nostalgia thing. So that's pretty much it, what's in the box. Um, I have to say, um, this here is a collector's item, for sure. It is not something for, what should we call it, for... It's for fans. It's not something you go out and buy and say, oh, well, uh, it's worth it. You can buy the games uh, on Steam. You can buy them on GOG. You can buy them pretty much anywhere. And this here is just for a collector's edition. Do I think this here is probably one of the greatest ones they've made? Yes. Especially with, the, with Ron being involved and all that. Ron has... I hope he has fond memories of it. At least that he's done some interviews. He's definitely done a podcast. He did that on uh, Thimbleweed Park. Where he actually had a... Well, it was a weekly podcast through the development and all that, which didn't wasn't it turned out into a podcast because it was more like a recording for backers and anybody who wanted to listen about how development was going in the game and all that stuff. And it actually is a really interesting um, 
thing talking about because they talk about Maniac Mansion a little bit because a lot of the things that we're trying to do because the, it, Thimbleweed Park is definitely a nostalgia trip especially for Maniac, uh, Maniac Mansion and Sack McCracken and the Alien Ninebenders um, and they talk about all this here uh, how all the ideas where it came out and all that and we I think also some people could wrote questions in but anyways this here is going to be it so this here was about one and a half years wait time for this here you cannot get this here anymore it's a lim again limited run as as it is it's it was about 250 euros total so yes it's expensive again collector's item but i am happy i i cannot wait to um to put this here up uh, on uh, on some places around my uh, my apartment. So that's going to be it. Thank you for watching. Hit that like button if you want to. If not, leave a comment. Um, reach out to me. What your favorite memories of these here games is, and uh, spread the good word. And I hope you all have a great Christmas. Bye.